Hello everyone, Da Jia Hao. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, I will talk about how I got onto this ship here. And yeah, first of all, to the location, we're cruising here down the Anping He or the Hei Shui He, so the Black River, the Black Water River, which is in the southwest of Guangxi province. And I'm currently on a trip, on a four day trip with Guangxi Radio International, which I had the ch chance to join. And now let me start. How did I get here into China um, and having this chance, this opportunity to be on the ship? So it all began after basically already 2015, where I joined a student exchange program to Ningbo, China. And from this time on, I knew, okay, I'm really interested into China. And then later on, also, my interest into Asia was, um, yeah, getting more clear and clear. So in 2016, after my high school graduation in Germany, I didn't know what to study. I didn't want to study just one degree where I'm not really sure if, I'm, if I really like this. And I also didn't want to start working or doing like a, um, a vocational training. So I searched in the internet, what can I do? Um, like a volunteering thing, maybe in Asia and maybe something with children because I, I like work with children. So I found this uh, teaching English as a volunteer in Thailand uh, via AFS, American Field Service. This is an awesome organization I can really recommend to you. And then I joined them and I ended up in Kampeng Pet in Thailand. I stayed there for one year and uh, in a host family, which was very kind. And yeah, I just really enjoyed this time. And after this, when I came back to Germany, I decided, okay, I want to go back to Asia. I want to go back to Southeast Asia, maybe to China. What can I do? And then I thought about, okay, learning Chinese might be a good way. And then I came up and then I found this East Asia Institute, Ostasen Institute in Germany, And I enlisted and then um, now I stayed there for two years and the, the program is like this. You have to stay, study four years, two years in Germany, one year in China and then another year in Germany. So here I am and to this day in China, I enjoyed my whole time in Guangxi province in Nanning and all over China. It is I just had so many amazing Yeah, ama amazing experiences and every day I can learn new things and I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. We just made another stop here in the middle of yeah, nowhere in Guangxi province actually, like quite close to the Dejian Pubu and the Vietnamese border. And so here we also find like a coffee place and this one is called Yunnan Maoshe Cafe. So Vietnamese cat poop cafe or here sago cafe and yeah i think i will try to get a uh, coffee but i'm not sure if they can also sell it here or if i can only buy their products yeah it's like all imported vietnamese products here like uh, this kind of things all right here these are the two cars we are with This is Pan, our translator, yeah. basically, right? Yeah. Translator? Him, I'm I your think. English translator. Uh, these guys go and they buy Vietnamese coffee. I go buy Chinese beer because I'm not a real big coffee drinker, but I am a yeah. big beer drinker. And I have about 60,000 subscribers that can uh, vouch for me on that fact alone. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to drink coffee, I'd say. Maybe put a little bit of Grand Marnier in it because coffee and Grand Marnier. Or try the Vietnamese coffee with some sweet uh, condensed milk. It's good as well. Sweet what? Condensed milk. It's like some kind of sweet milk they have here. Well, you can you can get Irish 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 uh, milk or, you with know, some liquor in it. Irish coffee. Yeah. Ni hao. Wa jie li kui dian eBay cafe ma. Cafe eBay. eBay Yunnan cafe. Okay. I think maybe we'll get instant coffee then, I think. Yeah. Maybe a real coffee, okay. But coffee is coffee, so this time. Now I actually am a big coffee lover, so 
I like to get like yeah. good filters coffee or Vietnamese coffee with the Vietnamese coffee equipment. What is this here? Yunnan AA Plus Yao Guo. So cashews, okay. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> okay I'll wait for the coffee and. Wow, it's so hot. Oh, here we go with my Vietnamese instant coffee. Enjoy life. I like this message here. And also here, Kirk, Bailo60, also find his, his coffee style. His coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and then... No, I'm, I'm fine. Like, this is just perfect. My coffee is... And I'm getting filmed here as well. Beautiful. Just like Trumpet said, this is the most perfect coffee in the world. It's so perfect. Perfect. No just one perfect. No one knows coffee well, yeah, I, I love I this kind coffee. of coffee. Like, while studying, just like while working, coffee always goes. Like, for me, coffee is around 10 a.m. and around 3 to 4 a.m. in the afternoon. That's like my best time because, yeah, it just like fills as like a, a gap in between having uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she's our kind of, uh, kind of Chinese organizer or like the 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 head of the interviewing part and he's our big boss Ta Maidan so he's uh, he's uh, for the money matters and for for driving the car and the big things here yeah okay so next stop next stop Dilchian Pubu oh yes so next stop is Dilchian Pubu so the Dilchian waterfall oh yes So here we are now at the flower garden and behind me it is really absolutely beautiful. Now we're having some darker clouds coming up which just makes the sky look even cooler because there we still have some sun. And yeah, here the river floating down and we are here still all am ambitious taking videos. He's taking videos for his YouTube channel. He's taking videos for the documentary. They are taking pictures for, what do I know? TikTok, like Douyin in Chinese and all kind of things. And yes, all behind, all the way down there is Vietnam. And you can go camping. It's quite, it's quite cool. It's really nice. And it's always in uh, China in like um, tourist areas. Everything is uh, well cared after, so yeah, they have like bridges and all kind of things set up for tourists to come. So let's walk along here. Basically, this here is no man's land because it's an island in this uh, bordering river between Vietnam and China. And let's see what we can find here. There's this water stone. Let's see if I can understand what it says and yeah what i hear is that on this side of the border of the chinese side of border uh, of the border they take uh, well care of the delta and pubu the waterfall which must be i think it's up there might also be down there i will find out soon i think um, but on the other side of the border in vietnam i hear it's uh, not so it's like more wild and yeah un uninhabited so okay Zhongguo. 843 one, 2001 okay I don't know what this border crossing exactly means I will ask them later Wow nice this looks like in the Lord of the Rings movie this hill is there pretty beautiful no closer watch out for falling water Ching Wu Kao Jin Dang Zhou Luo Shui okay a little bit of garbage, but yeah, everywhere we have this stupid garbage. That's just how it is. And the friendly AI here, they allowed us to eat a shui putao. And yeah, also kind of fruit I never tried before. 
and it's actually really good. And I know now, I now know this 843. These are the kilometers which started from Dongsingshi, so from the from the sea, and yeah, marks the kilometers along the Vietnamese Chinese border. 843, yeah, might be actual the kilometers because yeah, the border makes a lot of curves. The straight direction would be maybe 200 kilometers from here till the sea where the uh, border with China and Vietnam starts. So in this uh, hotel, we found this cool this wall here, which basically looks quite simple. And behind there, you see the reception. And I'm wondering, yeah, what does it mean, or why do they have it? And now I can ask Han. Hi. And what is this thing for? So this is uh, this wooden divider is called Pingfeng uh, in Chinese. So when you walk in. You won't see the people in the hallway, and it, it's been said it could uh, protect the house, and also they can prevent your fortune flow out of the house. Okay, wow, that's interesting. This is a part of uh, Feng Shui. Yeah, Feng, Feng Shui. Shui. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a really interesting topic, and yeah, I just know very very little about this. Do you know how I could? learn more about this, where to start or... Feng Shui? Yeah. I mean, oh, there's a very famous book that talks about Feng Shui. I can't remember the name, but I can send you the name. Okay, later. please let me know. Yeah. And then uh, I will check this out. Okay, yeah. And uh, once I'm remembering, I was talking with a teacher about, we were talking about Hong Kong. Who has been to Hong Kong? And then I said, yeah, I've been on to Hong Kong. And I remember they have the longest outdoor roller coaster, uh, no, outdoor... Uh, uh, escalator and uh, which I found is like quite interesting but then the our teacher said like okay I have probably have something to top you and there's like uh, one very huge building in Hong Kong which look which has like a big hole inside and they also built this hole because of feng shui tradition and it's yeah I have to admit this is also quite interesting but hard to understand this whole uh, feng shui custom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.